Okay, we're going to look at three things that are really important in choosing a shotgun. Even if uh, you have a shotgun that doesn't fit you, there are ways to make it fit, but we're going to talk about the three things that you need to look for. Uh, the first thing is the length of pull, and on the in the books and different things, it's called LOP, and that is the distance from the trigger to the middle of the butt, uh, the gun butt right there. There's one way to uh, measure that. I just made this out of a yardstick. You can put that right next to the trigger and just kind of hold that. This gun is empty. And then it'll show you when it's turned around like this, when it's up. So it'll show you the, the length of pull, which is about 14. Gun manufacturers make guns so they fit average or, or average. So they're about 13 and three quarters to about 14 and a quarter is what they do. But uh, if you have a smaller child or a, or a lady that's smaller, you probably need to adjust that length of pull. If you have too long of length of pull, it won't, uh, if it's too long, it'll come up and you won't be able to get it up in shooting, uh, hunting situations, it'll catch. And if it's too short, let me show you what happens when it's too short. I'll show you on this one. So if it's too short, I'll kind of uh, exaggerate it, but if it's too short, your nose is gonna be right by your thumb and when it comes back, it's gonna hit you in the nose it, all the time. So that means it's too short. If it's too long, you're gonna be too far back here and there's too much space back here. The, the best um, way to judge a fit of the shotgun for length of pull, I'm gonna show you that this is empty again, is to go ahead and mount the gun. And what you wanna do is uh, put your cheek right on the top of the comb and you're gonna put two fingers right across from the touching your knuckle and then hopefully touching your nose. So right. So if you can see that, if it's one or two inch or one or two finger lengths, that's perfect. Um, if it's four, if it's too far back, that uh, it's too it's too long for you. But you want about one or two fingers, which would be perfect. So when you do go to a, sh a shotgun store, pick up all the guns, see which ones fit you. Most of them will be about the same, but you don't want one too long. You don't want one too short. So that's the length of pull. So let's go over so the length of pull. Uh, the next one is the height of the comb. This is a good uh, example. This gun isn't isn't the right height for me. This uh, it's a re redone stock, and they didn't do it correct. I'm actually in the process of making another stock for it. But if you'll see, when I put my head down here, my eye is actually looking about right here. I, I wouldn't be able to see a bird at all. So let me put that up. That's uh, I'm looking about right there. So this is too far down. So what we want to do when I make another one, I'm going to put that up, and I'll show you a better example this one you can see that my eye is right uh, right on top of the rib there I'm, I'm left hand well I'm right-handed but I shoot left-handed but I shoot both but uh, that one shows uh, the length of pull is right and the height is right um, another thing on the comb and we'll do this in another uh, video see how this uh, the comb goes from higher to lower we're gonna make it so your comb is level because every time you put your face in a certain spot and it's correct if you're in the shooting situation and you get a little rushed you might put it up farther or put it back farther or put it up farther or back and that's going to change your height of your eye which is your rear sight which we'll talk about a little later so if you change the position here you're going to change your point of impact and your shooting uh, spot so it's it's kind of hard so i'll show you how to make that level and then wherever wherever you put that wherever you put your face and and mount the gun it'll be the same level the next uh, part, we talked about the length of pull. We talked about, uh, we're gonna talk about grip. Grip is really important. This is a, a kind of a pistol grip. They have more exaggerated grips. The grip is really important to pull the gun back into your body. If you can grab the gun and, and kind of over exaggerate pulling it, if your hand slides back, then the grip isn't uh, right for you or you need to adjust a little bit because you don't want that to be able to come off and then have this gun go away from your body. The key to not getting hurt or punched or kicked, have a gun kick her is to uh, pull that into your body really hard or tight and so it doesn't bounce or it doesn't get a chance to accelerate and then hit you. So the grip is really important. Uh, they have straight grips, so it's kind of like it would just be a straight. And that's more on kind of a traditional style uh, grips. Let's see if I have any others. They're all about the same. Let me look at this one. This is actually a 22. But this would be considered a straight a straight grip this is just on a 22 so that's just an example and then the next uh 
So we got the length of pull, the grip, and then the pitch. So the pitch, and we'll talk about it a little bit more in the, I think the next module, but the pitch is really important to have. We talked about the heel and the toe of the gun. When you mount the gun, the heel should be at your collarbone. So it should be almost flat with your shoulder, just like that. And the whole pad of the gun should be against your body. If you have a gun, if you have, this, is a, this is a really good, bad example of a shotgun. <laughs> this is a, a pretty down pitch, but I'm just gonna exaggerate. So if you have a gun that fits you and most of the pan is up, it's gonna actually hurt and dig into you and, and it's not gonna be fun to shoot. So that pitch, very important uh, to have that correct. Now this is a, a well-made gun, so the pitch uh, fits me perfect when I'm about level. And so, okay, I'll stop there for a minute. Yep.